Several years ago, I walked a handful of blocks up the street from my partner's house to a convenience store to buy something to drink. It was about 11 p.m. and I was trying to slide in there before the store closed. To set the scene, we lived in a transitory neighborhood that was chock full of abandoned houses and crime, with a few occupied residents and businesses scattered about. There were zero streetlights or illumination. Envision a more compact version of a type of Detroit neighborhood exemplified in the movie Barbarian and you won't be far off the mark. Looking back, the nighttime excursions to the store from my place to his were absolutely idiotic on my part, but after living in that environment for years, you just become accustomed to it. Anyways, it was one of my many full-heartedly nighttime store trips. My partner by then would ask me not to do it, but I just ignored that. I wanted my drink. It was very dumb of me. I got the few blocks up the streets in the usual darkness, got my drink, and left the store to head back. Outside the store, a guy was standing near the trash can hassling everyone who came out, asking for money and cigarettes, etc. I told him I didn't have anything and started to cross the parking lot and head back, but this guy sprang after me like a freaking rabbit and grabbed a hold of my arm. He starts aggressively demanding that I go to a party with him and tries to steer me down the pitch black side street just beside the convenience store. He was probably six foot seven crazy tall and super thin, with the dreads all over his face, making it hard to see what he even looked like. His fingers bit into my arm and felt like they pinched a nerve. My heart starts pounding like crazy right away. I was used to brushing off this type of behavior, having lived in the neighborhood for several years by then, but this was way more aggressive than anything I'd faced so far. I shook my arm out of his grasp, told him that I was heading to my boyfriend's place and it was only a few blocks down the street. He was waiting for me, said sorry in an attempt to placate him, and took off speed walking down the street at the top speed. He called after me several times, and then I heard his quick footsteps as he decided to follow me down the street. By then, I could feel my heartbeat in my eyeballs. My mouth had gone cotton dry, and I was almost hyperventilating with fear, trying to stay quiet so this idiot wouldn't hear me. I had this feeling that to show fear to look back at him would cause him to react violently right away, so I just put on a burst of speed and tried to outwalk him. However, my five five legs were no match for his crazy long stride, and I could hear little pieces of rock and concrete crunching under his feet as he closed in on me. I literally felt like my heart would leap out of my chest or explode from fear. I tried to walk even faster, but I could hear the guy right behind me. I could hear his breath in my ear and got this overwhelming feeling that he was going to grab me at any second, maybe with a weapon, and try to force me to walk wherever he wanted me to. The neighborhood is pitch black and there's no real through traffic, not at night. If he wanted to force me to go with him, I'd be powerless, save for trying to run for him, but with his height advantage, I knew that he'd catch me fast. Then I could finally see my boyfriend's driveway and him standing at the end of it waiting for me. He had a terrible feeling and already worried constantly about me walking at night, so he'd come outside to wait for me. I saw that he had his crowbar in one hand, his usual defense weapon, kept near the front door, and then my nerve broke and I started sprinting toward him. And the tall dude behind me started to run after me. I reached the place where my boyfriend stood and squeaked out help or something like that dove behind him and cowered, waiting for the tall dude to pull a gun or shoot us both or start struggling with my boyfriend. It didn't happen. He gets right up to my boyfriend's face, standing way too close to him and asks for a light. My boyfriend gives him one, holding the crowbar aloft in the other hand so that it was very visible. Then I grab a hold of him and yank him into the house, locking the door and absolutely losing it sobbing and freaking out while trying to choke out what had even happened. My boyfriend goes looking from the windows and sees him kind of standing around and then leaving. He saw him here and there for a few months afterwards, up at the store walking up and down the street. Unsurprisingly, I'm sure, I never took another nighttime walk. I still sometimes have nightmares, thinking about him chasing me in the night. If you enjoyed this scary story, listen to thousands more, either over on the Let's Read YouTube channel or podcast.